So I have just been uh, out trying out um, my Christmas present, which is one of these red shift stems. This is not the pro version, it's just the, the normal original version. Um, and uh, yeah, it was great. I wasn't sure what expectations I had for it. I knew that I sometimes would get a lot of road buzz or just trail buzz in general going over rough terrain. Um, and sometimes that can lead to fatigue. So if you're riding for, you know, six hours or so on rough trails, after a while your, your arms start, definitely start to feel it. And that was for me probably the main reason for asking for one of those for Christmas. Not necessarily um, because I'm like jumping off big, you know, cliffs and stuff and expecting to uh, to have it act as suspension, more just like to re relieve or reduce the, the uh, buzz in my arms. And uh, for that purpose, it seems to definitely do the job. I was riding along and I could feel a lot of vibration uh, going through my legs or going through the saddle, but the, the, the vibration coming through my hands and arms was definitely a lot less than than what I would expect for what I was feeling. So if you are looking for something to act like suspension, you know, don't even think about it. This is not suspension. I know that the old, uh, what was it, the Gervin Flex stem or something like that, um, there's a few other stems that came around during the time that were kind of supposedly, you know, replacement or cheaper version of suspension, but these are not, it's not for that. Um, it's just to reduce the vibration coming through the handlebars. Um, when I first got out on, on the bike, I definitely, during the first few stops, um, just putting on the brakes, I could definitely feel like a little tiny bit of diving on the handlebars. And that was a bit disconcerting for a moment, but that goes away pretty quickly. Um, in terms of actually setting it up, I'm actually, uh, well, first thing, you know, you take everything out of the box and there's instructions and there's these elastomers. And I went to scan through the instructions just to make sure there was nothing odd about how you install it. Um, one thing to note and in, in the warnings, don't, don't undo the elastomers and things without it being on the bike because it needs some sort of weight down on it to reduce, you know, to, to make sure that the, the screw goes in correctly. Um, but the, there was a guide around the what elastomers to use for what rider weight. And luckily the elastomers that are in there are the ones that I need for my weight. So I didn't have to to worry about that, but there's a, a guide here and it kind of shows um, what sort of um, elastomers to put in for, for the weight that you're on. Um, I think the, the, the elastomer configuration is meant to be fairly, you know, stiff. And I certainly, you know, I wasn't feeling it sort of flexing away. Um, and so I'm gonna leave it like that for now. If for some reason I feel experimental, I might try out a few different elastomers and see if I can feel the difference and whether or not something is better for me, for my riding style. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep the default elastomers that were in there. The, the rest of the setup was pretty much just a normal stem install. You know, take off the old stem, put in the new one, tighten down, you know, put on the handlebars, tighten down the the top cap, check the play on the bearing, and then tighten up the stem bolts. Um, there wasn't anything else in here that in the manual I could see that indicated any sort of variation on that. Um, I wouldn't expect to, but you know, I just figured that there's so much text in there. It's just easier to know, like if you do fit the standard weights, then you don't have to worry about going through all of the text in the, in the, 
in the manual, just set it up like you with a normal stem. Um, I was flicking through some different websites and stuff where they were talking about the the stem and like some concerns around the stem and um, yeah, there was definitely some comments. Some places like, oh yes, you know, this isn't this isn't anything new. This is just a a flex stem or whatever, and they're terrible and it's not real suspension. As I said before, it's not meant to be suspension. Um, it's not really that squishy or flexy if you've got it set up for the right weight. Like, unless I'm like heaving on it, I, you know, I can't really feel it moving. Um, some people had concerns about being able to get up off the saddle and ride hard. And I certainly couldn't really feel it doing anything. Like when I stood up and I put down the power, I couldn't really feel it diving or bobbing or anything like that. I didn't feel like it was draining any energy. Um, I'm sure there's probably some movement, but it's not like uh, a big soft mess. Um, there were some concerns about it maybe like, you know, re reducing or, or affecting control, but um, I was able to weave around potholes and stuff and bumps and uh, off-road just fine. So, so far, I don't feel any control issues. Um, one thing that was something that, you know, obviously I will agree with is ex it's expensive. They're not cheap. I can't remember how much this one was. It's certainly a lot more than any stem that I've bought before. Um, well, I didn't buy this one. Someone gave it to my partner, gave it to me, but, um, it's not cheap. Um, and if you generally don't feel any discomfort or you don't go on long rides, maybe you don't really need it. Um, but if you've been on trips where your arms are just dying afterwards, then maybe it's worth a shot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep, you know, trying it out. And uh, if I have any other conclusions other than what I've talked about so far, I will make a follow up video. And uh, yeah, feel free to ask me a question if you want to know some more about it. Um, I don't really have any footage of the install because it's just a normal stem install. I don't have any footage of riding with it because you can't really see anything. Um, it's all what you can feel. So there was no point, to, uh, you know, pull up a camera and film myself riding, but all you're going to see is me riding along. So there's not really much point in doing that. Chris from the future here. Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention, and is the reason why I am playing some footage here, is that if you're going fast, sometimes it gets so bumpy that you really can't see very well. Uh, it certainly happened to me that my vision becomes a bit blurred when everything is just shaking around. And for that, um, reducing that vibration coming through your body could definitely help. Uh, it could definitely help you see a bit more clearly what's up ahead. So just a, um, a thought that I forgot to mention. Now back to the past. Uh, so yeah, quick video just about the Redshift stem. Um, the Redshift shock stop suspension stem as it's called. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.